everybody opting in and, and just staying committed to, you know, you know, buying in to one last game here this season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, a, you know, a bunch of football players. And when you, when you go on this big break, this long break, you, you kind of, you miss it. You really do, even though it's, it's always hard work. And especially this year, it's been a long year. You, you go home and you're not playing football and you start to miss it and you say, I can't wait to get back. And I think everyone kind of came back from this break, ready to, ready to go and ready to play in a bowl game and, and put a good performance on. Hi, Nick Roush. You were just a red shirt the, the last time that y'all were down in Jacksonville, but what, what do you remember about that game? And, and also what's it like to kind of come back full circle um, to kind of finish where it started? Yeah, it's, it's really cool to, to come full circle and finish where I started. All, all I kind of remember is we lost. Uh, we got beat by Georgia Tech, and it was a fun week to experience. But uh, what I found is bowl games are a lot more fun when you win. So I think, especially with COVID, we probably won't spend as much time down there, and it's going to be uh, number one priority to, to win the game this year. Um, and I think winning – in the Gator Bowl when the first time I was at the Gator Bowl we lost would just be a, a perfect way to, you know, finish it out. Now, last time Georgia Tech ran the triple option, it was weird. Uh, NC State, they run the weird 3-3-5. Uh, is it similar to what you saw against Mississippi State? Do you think that'll help um, kind of make, help prepare you for, for this bowl game? Yeah, I think, uh, I think there's a lot of things that you can kind of compare to the schedule we've had this year. Uh, I think the one thing that sticks out is is kind of the transition they made from last year, right? They weren't they didn't do so hot last year, and this year they turned it around and had a really great season, right? So, I think the one thing that we know for sure, without even looking at the film, is that they play hard, right? They play hard and they know how to win football games, and so uh, I think it's gonna be fun. I know they've had some pretty good D lines in the past, and so it's gonna be a good matchup, and we're we're excited. Josh Moore. I didn't have another question. So. Okay, Larry Vaught. Yeah, Luke, a little bit of question, not exactly on the bowl, but just wondering what your reaction was when your roommate, Max, was not even named one of the 10 finalists for the Ray Guy Award this year. Can you even start to fathom there could be 10 better punters in the nation than Max? Uh, absolutely. I think that's great that he wasn't named to the top 10 because he needs the, the ego check, honestly. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that's a great call by them. And, and they just knew that, that he needed that ego check and uh, uh, it, it bumped him down a notch. But, no, seriously, I, I think it is crazy uh, that you go from the Ray, Ray guy winner to, to not even on the list. And I'm assuming they just wanted to give everyone else a shot. And, you know, that's very nice of them for making sure everyone gets a chance. Did it bother Max any at all or he just laugh at all? Well, he hasn't mentioned it yet, but I think he was too busy uh, bragging about his Reese's Bowl invite. So, <laughs> we're, we're proud of him, though. We're proud of him. John Hale. Luke, you, you touched on it a little bit there, just with the, the shorter trip and the practices are all condensed. I'm wondering, is, is the approach any different this year? How are you all kind of mentally approaching these next couple of weeks? Uh, I, I would say the approach is not too different. I think – uh, in the past few years where we've played really well in bowl games, Coach Stoops has done a great job of kind of taking care of us, and, and we definitely get our work in, but he, he makes sure not to, to run us into the ground or anything like that, just because we've had, uh, you know, a long season. And in the past years, we've played 12 games, and this year, 10 games. So he knows that uh, he knows that we know how to play football, right? You know, he knows that maybe uh, uh, three or four really hard practices in a row aren't going to change the way we play football. So he just knows that as long as we get out there, run around, um, be sharp mentally, that it's going to have a positive result on Saturday. So I think he does a really good job of understanding that, um, you know, no matter who we're playing or where we're going, that as long as we're focused on ourselves and we're mentally sharp and ready to go, that it's going to be a, a good game come game day. Dr. Wall. Hey, Luke, there's such a big contrast between how you guys found out that you weren't going to go to the Gator Bowl last year and then this year when you found out you were going. How, how did you find out this year, and can you kind of talk about the emotions and the contrast between the two years? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, uh, Twitter is a very bad, bad thing. Uh, 
you know, hanging out on Twitter, you see everyone talking every which way about where we're going to be or what we're going to play. And, and um, uh, it was it was nice to see that we're going to Florida. I think a lot of the team, you know, wants some warm weather, especially playing these last few games. Uh, you know, last game on December 5th, it's, it's going to be a nice change of pace to be a little further south. Uh, so it was definitely a positive reaction, and we're glad we get to play in the, you know, such an esteemed bowl game. Hey, Farmer. Hey, Luke. Um, just wanted to ask you about Coach Stoops. I mean, the, the first coach at UK to take a team not just to five bowl games, but to five straight. What, what does that mean to you having played for him these years? Uh, it means a lot. He, he kind of delivered on his promise to me uh, when, when I was being recruited and the other 2016 members that were being recruited, you know, uh, Coach Stoops said, if you guys come here, you're going to change the program, turn it around, and, and we're going to win a lot of games. And so the fact that we showed up, went to a bowl game, and we haven't stopped, uh, it means a lot. It means that uh, he knows what he's doing. It means that everyone has kind of bought in. And it means that this team and, and these teams we've had in the past uh, are learning how to win football games, right? And how to win football games consistently. So I think that's really important. I think it just goes to show how Coach Stoops has really turned it around in, in Lexington and why uh, a lot of guys have really bought in. Jeff Drummond. Hey, Luke. Mark made it sound like uh, – this might be a tight end's dream if Vince Merrow is calling some of the plays for his game. What, what's practice been like with, with the big dog and his tight ends? Oh, he's been doing, man, he's been doing a lot of yelling. I think he's, I think he's really enjoyed it. He, uh, he's bringing a lot of energy and passion to uh, practice and, and he's making it fun. You know, he's, he's, he likes having fun and he likes working hard. And I think he's kind of combining those two things and, you're seeing that you are seeing a couple more tight end passes lately. That's for sure. I definitely agree with that. Uh, but I think, you know, the guys kind of stepping up to make play calls in the bowl game are going to do a great job. They, they know the offense just as well as anyone. And, and it's going to be fun to watch. I think uh, coach Merrill is going to do a good job. Okay. Anybody else for Luke? All right. Thanks so much, Luke, for joining us and give us one second. We'll get Josh Pascal on. Thanks Lex.